I never really, I opened the door, I got it, and, and I was working, you know, I had it turned out that way, and I was fixing the hand, you know, the, the opener. That's a lot easier now. And uh, one time I opened it up, and I happened to be standing over this way, and you know, it was turned that way, and uh, there was a uh, half a hamburger in there, and that's what it, and my mom, my mom was, you know, it broke on her, and she had just got up, she didn't know what she was doing hardly, and uh she didn't mention it because she, she didn't remember it. And the uh, first thing I had to do is, well, I ended up, I, I got her something to eat. And I got us both something to eat and, uh, and you know, put it in the oven. And, that's, and that uh, stuck up the house because it's, it it's been used for, like, you know, sausages and stuff and hasn't been cleaned. I don't, I don't use it hardly ever. But, uh, so... Yeah, I had gotten on the night shift, and I do that quite often. And uh, I can't find myself. Here I am. Uh, and uh, so uh, I was already, you know, I would got up at somewhere five, eight o'clock in the evening is when I got up last night. But now, well, at least now I'll get myself going on around because it's noon, and I ought to clean everything up, and I have to have a bath now for sure. But I did eat a good meal, I had, uh, finally, once I got it working. So, there's a couple of ideas. You know, if uh, microwaves, they, that the manufacturers seem to think they're disposable. They, they just break. I've got another one out there in the garage that I was keeping. I've got, I've got at least two out there. And one of them, for all I know, because this one, I, when, it, when the fuse went out, I don't see good anymore. I couldn't find a fuse, and I wasn't really looking for a fuse on a circuit board. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm actually learning about the last oh, five or ten years. You know, you, there's been stuff on the internet telling you how to work on microwaves. I really didn't know enough about them to do much to them, but replace the fuse if I could find it, but I didn't see it. But my, that time it broke last time when the fuse went out, it broke with my brother, and he, uh, and I wasn't feeling good, and he did the work, and I just help, you know, answered questions and things. Uh, he's not electrical at all, and uh, <clears throat> and gave him tools and stuff like that, you know. Like, but he don't know where I keep my tools or anything. So, uh, <clears throat> but I was really concerned about just if that uh, 30 amp fuse could actually cause be dangerous, you know, could it, if it could let it get to not just tight enough to burn up wires, to, but to maybe even heat up the wire because we don't have a plug here it's on the other side of the wall so we I, I got a good uh, power strip uh, with, with good big bigger than average wires you know it's not a 20 amp I don't know it's not a, I don't think it's a 20 amp no it's not I couldn't find one that wasn't out like a hundred dollars or something seventy five dollars so I got a the good the best what brand is that trip light I have had really they their their lifetime warranty and I've had real good luck with trip light power strips. Some now you got to watch. I've seen some of the newer ones like with the USB deals. I was going to get one, and it had real bad reviews. That USB thing was burning up inside of there, and so I ended up buying some other brand that had better reviews. But uh, when I needed one for the living room, <clears throat> for everybody's phones and everything, you know, charger need needed AC and charging, you know. But anyway. Uh, that's just, I thought I'd show that, and that way I'll know what I did. If I, if I, if I wonder what I did, uh, I'll remember now. I mean, I won't remember, I'll go back and look at my video. <laughs> okay, catch you later.